hello everyone and welcome back to my channel it is time it is time it is time i know everyone is so excited because i've been getting so many requests and so many questions about when i'm going to do my final d stash and my friends my nail polish lovers it is time it is time it is finally time for us to finish off this d stash series on my channel i have gone through all of these polishes starting at the very top over here in this corner moving all the way down through the various brands and ending with my miscellaneous polishes. So in the very last D-stash that I did, which was several months ago now, I had started with this empty cubby here and had started going through the miscellaneous polishes at the bottom of my bookcase. We still have quite a bit left to do. So here we've got, let's move in a little bit closer. So we are starting with like a mid-tone deep blue, moving into purple pink, and then some neutrals over there in the corner. I'm going to do this de-stash just like I've been doing throughout this entire series. We're gonna put all these polishes up on my desk. We're gonna go through them one at a time. If I have any questions about formula or I'm not quite sure about the color, I will put those aside and we'll do some swatching. I am prepared to be really, really brutal with this. I am ready to just hack my way through all of these, get as mu rid of as much as I can because I have a lot of nail polish that still needs to be reshelved. Let's take a look at it just to show you what I'm looking at here and what I'm thinking about and what I need to make room for. Over here in this corner, we have all of my unorganized polishes that need to be shelved. So the very big basket that you see back there in the very, very back, that is all the de-stashed polishes. So those aren't going anywhere. Those are gonna be sold and donated and you know the drill. The one in the green basket, all the polishes in this green basket and cardboard boxes, these are all the polishes that I have purchased within the last year and a half. So I'm talking about uh, various name brand collections like China Glaze and OPI. Um, there might even be some Essie in there as well, along with lots and lots and lots and lots of indie polishes. 2017 was definitely the year of indie polishes for me and I got a lot of them. So all of my indies are basically in these boxes and uh, this green basket right here. The little plastic stackable set that you see here, those are all of my Square Hue. And as we know, Square Hue is no longer doing their subscription service. Um, and so I still have to decide what to do with those polishes. I might actually de-stash a bunch of them because I was only keeping them as like color references for future Square Hue subscription boxes but it looks like they're not making polish anymore and they're not doing subscriptions anymore. So I'm probably going to go through those and get rid of a bunch of the square hues, the ones that I don't want and the ones that I probably won't use. Um, so that might be a future D stash, but in a very, very, very far, far future. And then these little uh, tins that you see right here, these are polishes that I have already gone through and some of our previous D stashes. Uh, so there's a Maybelline and finger paint but I pulled them out because there weren't enough of each brand to facilitate its own special little spot in the shelving. So these are actually going to be going back in as miscellaneous polishes when I get to my reorganizing of my polishes. But this is like, this is way, way down the line. We still have lots of time to deal with this. Right now, we are just gonna talk about these right here. So I'm gonna get these up on my table. I'm going to make the big old pile that we can start digging through. And hopefully we will get this down to like maybe two cubbies. We shall see. All right, let's get going. Here we are with my gigantic pile. Sorry, my son is right above me in his playroom playing with my husband. And so there, if you hear some thumping and running and yelling and screaming, they're just having a really good time upstairs. So this is my gigantor pile of miscellaneous polishes. Sorry, I'm trying to get all the hairs. I'm, tr I'm trying really hard to deal with the hair problem. I know it's gross. Had some comments in my last videos of the D-stashes that the hairs were getting gross. And I apologize. I have a core and I myself shed hair a lot, so I'm trying really hard to get all the hairs out of here. I apologize profusely if there are too many hairs, because I know they're not the most appealing thing in the world, but I'm trying my hardest. Back to the polishes. I have brands from all over in here. I see some dollar store brands. I see like some indies, like here I have 90 Lacquer. I have some uh, Salon Perfect. There are also some like uh, Dermalect, like some 
uh, Ulta brands in here too. So there's just a nice variety of dollar store to high-end brands in this pile. We're just gonna go to town on this and really weed out some polishes that I am not using anymore. So let me zoom you in here. Also, I wanna mention real quickly on my hands, I just painted my nails like a couple of minutes ago. This is Polished for Days. This is called Oahu, and it's a, a gorgeous, gorgeous kind of teal holographic polish that is so fantastic. I think I hauled, I reviewed this polish not that long ago. I bought this at a Black Friday sale on the Polish for Days website. I absolutely love it. It is so gorgeous and sparkly. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. But since I did just paint my nails like not that long ago, I haven't cleaned up my nails at all yet because I thought it was more important to do this video than to do cleanup. So I hope you guys don't mind that my manicure is just a little bit messy, but still really sparkly and gorgeous. So let's just jump in right away with a pure ice. This is called True Love's Kiss that you can see down here. It's a part of their story, Fairy Tale Forest limited edition set, and it is really really beautiful. It's a nice kind of uh, pinky purple with a kind of glass shimmer running through it. I really, really like this one. The formula is pretty good. I remember this being a, a solid two coater. I'm going to hold on to this one because I think this is such a cute polish, especially for Valentine's Day. So I will be holding on to this. Next, we have one that I will be getting rid of. This is a Salon Perfect. I believe this is one of their like Halloween um, editions. This one is called Spider Legs and it's really, really quite cute. It's got some like macaroni and cheese orange cir matte circle glitters. There are some black circle glitters and some black bar glitters. It is really quite the cute uh, Halloween glitter topper. I just really honestly don't use these matte glitter toppers very much. When I do, I generally grab my Caloris de Carol set. She had um, a glitter topper set released, I wanna say almost two years ago now, where it was all of these kind of like matte glitters and I grab those every single time. So so I will be getting rid of this one because I probably won't use it and I'd rather give it to somebody who would actually enjoy using it and would get a lot of fun out of it. Next we have an LA Color Last in the shade Forever and I actually really do like these. I think they're very, very good quality creams for the price. I want to say these are like around two to three dollars at Walmart. I do enjoy the brushes on these as well. They're really, really wide brushes and they're really, really opaque as well. I will be getting rid of this though because you guys, I have so many pink creams. I do not need any more pink creams. It's just too much. So I'm getting rid of this one just because I have way too many. Next, we've got this one from Milani. I'm trying to like mix it up a little bit. It's been obviously sitting around for quite a long time. This is a Milani color statement in the color Corrupted Coral. And um, I do love coral creams. Like this is probably one of my all time favorite colors to wear, especially in the summer. I love beautiful coral creams. This one is stunning and gorgeous and amazing, but I'm not gonna keep it because I have an OPI coral that I grab all the time whenever I want this kind of really vibrant coral color for the summer. I will be getting rid of this one. It's not because of formula. It's not because of quality. It's just because I have so many in this shade. I do not need any more. However, I will be keeping this one. <laughs> so this is a polish I almost broke. <laughs> So this is a Bonita polish. I'm kind of mix it up a little bit here. This is a Bonita polish, which I love. We do not have any Kmarts or Rite Aids in my area that carry this brand. So I believe I found this on the road. We were going on a road trip to Arizona and I found a Kmart and I stopped and I bought the Bonita polishes that I saw that I liked. This one is called Sweet Cheeks. It's a coral, but it's a lighter coral. You can compare it to the coral, corrupted coral. It's almost pastel. I love love this one. I actually do wear it quite a bit. It's one of my favorites to wear when the spring rolls around. It's gorgeous. The quality on this one isn't necessarily the best. It's a little bit on the thin side, but I don't mind. I love the color. I have an attachment to this, so I will be holding on to this one. Next, we've got a Jessie's Girl. Uh, this is called... 
Azure, Azure, and I got this from Hannah Eve Nails It. We did a nail polish like exchange several years back. We both have birthdays in September, and so I bought her some nail polishes. She got me some nail polishes, and this was one of the polishes that she got me because I think, again, this is like a Rite Aid brand or possibly Kmart, and so she knew I didn't have a Kmart in my area, so she went to Kmart and bought me some polishes. I will be holding on to this one. It is a really beautiful sapphire blue. It reminds me of Hannah. There Therefore, I will hold on to it. Next, we've got one of these confetti crush, like high dense glitter toppers. Like it's almost not even a topper. I wanna say this is a full on glitter polish because it is so dense. I wanna say I picked this one up at at Rue 21, it wasn't Forever 21, it was Rue 21. And um, I, I don't care too much for this one. I think these ones don't have names, they just have numbers. So this is color 090. And uh, I don't really care too much for it. I haven't used it since I bought it and I bought it years ago. Um, it is cute, don't get me wrong. I just, I'm, I'm not, this is not my cup of tea. Very, very thick uh, glitter polish. You can't really use it as a topper and it's too busy to be used as like an actual polish. So. I will be getting rid of this one. Next, we have one that I will be holding on to. This is from Nails Inc. from their Garden Party Collection. This one is called... Westbourne Gardens, and it is a glitter polish that's got a nice mixture of pastel pink and like baby slipper pink uh, matte glitters mixed in with some silver metallic glitters. It's super cute. It's really, really cute. I have used this especially around Valentine's Day. This is one of my favorites to pull out because it is really, really thin, and you can use it as a glitter topper or you can sponge it and use it as a full glitter manicure. All in all, I think this one's really cute. I love this one for Valentine's Day and like in the spring. So I will be holding on to this one. Next, we have a julep. For a very short time, I was with the julep subscription service, but I did not like it. I didn't appreciate the way they did customer service. And honestly, I wasn't a huge fan of the polishes. I feel like you really don't get very much polish in here for the price that you pay. Um, I think the polish, the quality itself is really, really good. Like they're really thick and they're really, really fantastic. I've held on to this one for a long time. This one is Shelby. It's just a basic navy. I might hold on to it because it is a very, very nice navy blue cream, but I want to see what other navy blues I have in my collection before I make any final choices about it. So I will hold this one to the end for the end of the video and maybe do some comparisons with other navies that I've kept and see how it holds up. Next, we've got a Broadway Nails that is obviously starting to separate. Broadway Nails is found, I believe, at Dollar General or at least that's where I found this Broadway Nails. This one is called Easter Annie, and it's super cute. Like, it is a gorgeous lilac lavender purple cream. I know I have so many of these lavender purple creams, especially in my um, Sinful Colors, and I can see a China Glaze, or not China Glaze, an Essie from here that might work with this, but this formula is really, really good. Broadway Nails does stink. Like, they have a very, very strong scent, but this this cream is such a nice formula. I kind of don't want to get rid of it, but I want to check to make sure how it compares with other colors that I have. If I have stuff that's already like it, I will I will get rid of it, but if I don't, I will keep it. So we'll keep this one for the end. Let's grab this uh, Heaven Polish right here. This is Heaven Lacquer. I believe I found this at a Harmon's grocery store or an Albertsons. It was either Harmon's or Albertsons. Maybe it was Albertsons. Grocery store in Las Vegas when I was visiting my sister for Christmas. This one is called Waikiki Sunset and it is a very dense glitter polish in a beautiful gorgeous like raspberry jelly base. I love this you guys. This is probably one of my favorite polishes to wear um, as an accent nail because it's so glitzy and glammy without being super super in your face. I have worn this several times. It stains like the Dickens but I just love the way it looks. It's just so sparkly so I'm gonna hold on to this one. This is an LA Colors uh, an LA Colors Color Craze nail polish in the color Cupid's Arrow. I want to say I picked this one up at a dollar store. It is a matte glitter topper that's all pink and, and white, which is so cute, but it is very, very sparse. It is a very sparse glitter topper. I don't really appreciate it for that reason. You really do have to work at it to get some glitter. The only problem is, is like, I'm looking at this right now and I'm seeing future 
like nail polish manicures that I could do with this, especially for Valentine's Day. And Valentine's Day is coming very quickly because I'm seeing some things with this that would be so incredibly cute. So I'm gonna put this in my maybe pile and we'll come back to this at the end of the video. Here is a polish that I will be holding on to. This is a California Colors. I went to Hawaii with my son maybe about three years ago now. It must be almost three years ago now. And um, I picked this along with two other neon polishes from some store that we went to in Hawaii. So I wanna keep this just purely for uh, sentimental purposes. It's not the best like neon you will ever find on the planet. Like I'm pretty sure I you have to use a white base coat with it to really get a good neon out of it, but it's more sentimental than anything else. So I will be holding on to this one. Next we have this um, spa ritual that I'm definitely going to get rid of. I kept this one around thinking I would use it for like a fall manicure or Thanksgiving or something like that. And I just, I never pulled it out. This one is called Barefoot um, and it is a Crelly glitter. There's also like some holographic glitter in there too. So it does have some rainbow effect in there. And like I said, this looks like a great uh, Thanksgiving or like fall type polish for manicures and stamping and whatnot, but I never grabbed it. I've never tried it. I've never used it since I bought it. So I am going to get rid of this one and hopefully somebody else will get some really great creative use out of this because I, I never got around to it. Here is a polish uh, from Pure Ice. This is called Poppin' Bottles and I really like this. <laughs> I really do like this quite a bit. It is a silver glitter topper type polish. It looks like you might be able to get it completely opaque, but you can't. Like it is really, really, really quite thin. It really works better as a topper and I love it because as you can see, it's got like flashes of gold in there too. So you've got a nice blend of gold and silver in like kind of this frosty kind of base. I kind of dig it. I really like this one. I like to play around with this one for toppers, especially for like holidays and whatnot. So I'm holding on to that one. Here's another one of these LA colors in the color last line. It is in the color Ever After, a really beautiful purple with a gold shimmer running through it. Again, I don't have any problems with this line. I think it's pretty decent considering how much you pay for it. Um, it's really gorgeous, but unfortunately I don't really use it. I've had it for a while and I've tested it out once and it didn't really blow me out of the water. Um, so I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna give it to somebody else who could probably use it more and uh, would probably get a bigger kick out of it than I did. Here we have another Pure Ice. This one is, it's all bl a bluer. It's all a bluer, like it's all a blur. Um, this is a gorgeous kind of deep purple cream that's got a little hint of a shimmer running through it. And normally I am not a huge fan of shimmers in my creams. I usually like it really, really dramatic or just not in there at all. And this is a very subtle, subtle shimmer in here but I love this shade of purple. I think this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous shade of purple. It looks really, really nice on the nail and the formula on this is really, really good. Like it's opaque in nearly one coat. So I will be holding onto this one because this color and the formula is just too good to pass up. Next we have another pure ice. This one is in their shine like gel tech line. This is in the color My Only Sunshine. And as you can tell, it is one of these corals that I just, I can't get enough. I cannot get enough of these bright, bright corals. Now in comparison to uh, Corrupted Coral from Milani, it's a little bit lighter. It's almost like a neon coral. And these are the kind of corals that I prefer. I don't necessarily turn to these darker, like mid-tone corals. I like, I prefer more of these neon-esque type kind. And if, and if you compare it to uh, Sweet Cheeks, that Bonita polish that I was looking at before, it's a little bit darker. So Sweet Cheeks is more pastel. This one is slightly more intense, has a little bit more of a neon feeling to it, even though it doesn't really show up that well on the camera. It does have a more neon-esque feel to it. And the formula is actually not that bad. I wanna test this one out and see how it swatches before I make any final decisions, but I really, I really shouldn't keep this one, but I love this color so much and I actually have used this bottle quite a bit. We shall see what happens at the end. Here's another one of those nail ink special effects, the garden party edition. This one is 
called Princess Gardens, and it's the same idea of that pink one that we had before, except now we've got pistachio green and a baby blue mixed in with some silver glitter. I really love these. I love these so much in the spring. I usually whip these out quite a bit in the springtime because they're just perfect for spring manicures, so I will be holding on to this one just like the pink one. And why don't we grab this other, it's another one from that garden party. I think I found all of these at a clearance section in Ulta, like they have the whole collection available. And I just bought the whole thing because they're so gosh darn cute. This one is called Portobello Gardens. And again, it's that same idea of having matte glitters mixed with metallic glitters, except this one is all blue, which I think is super, super cute. Um, like, I, like I said before, most of these are pretty, pretty light. Like you can definitely use these as glitter toppers. I really like combining this one with a lavender purple base. So cute. Hold on to that one. This is one I will be getting rid of. This is an LA Colors color craze in the color craze. Oh, look at that. And it's just a, a rainbow matte glitter polish. It's got all these different kind of matte glitters. There might be some metallic. I think there might be blue metallic in there, all in a clear base. It's pretty dense. It's very, very dense, but it's just, like I said before, I I don't use these matte glitters very often. I really don't. And if I do use them, I use my Caloris de Carol ones, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Here's a silver foil that I'm going to de-stash. This is a Clinique, I think. This is a Clinique um, polish that I got as a Christmas gift, I think, from my sister-in-law. I don't really gravitate towards this. I have other silver foils that I use before this, that I at least that I remember to use before this. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a good formula. It wears nicely. I just never grab it, as you can tell, like the cap has been dried on there. I just, I just don't reach for this. I don't reach for it. I forget about it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Here we've got some Ciate minis. I've got this beige one that's called Doll Face and then this kind of cobalt blue is called Boom Box. Um, I'm gonna get rid of them. I don't really like minis. I'm not a fan of minis. Um, I don't like how small the brushes are. Like they're super, super tiny. They're hard to use. Um, so I'm just gonna get rid of these because I know if I have a color similar to this in a larger bottle, I will use the larger bottle. Here's another Ciate that I will hold on to. It's a little bit separated, but it's still awesome. This is Pop It that you can see here. This is the reason I'm going to hold on to this one is because this is a part of their um, like porcelain doll collection or like porcelain doll house. I can't remember what the collection was called, but there was a set from Ciate. There were all of these kind of nice spring pastel colors that dried to a gorgeous porcelain matte finish. I adore them. I absolutely adore them. I love this one so much in the spring. I love the matte finish that it dries to, so I will be holding on to this. Here's another color craze that I will probably get rid of. This one is called Speckled. And again, it's these matte glitters, which are really, really fun. And it was exciting to see them in like, uh, in your mainstream polishes. And so obviously I went a little crazy and I bought them all, but I don't really use them. I really don't use these matte glitters very often. Um, this one has an interesting combination of colors. We've got some white matte glitters, but then they're like some finely milled, like burnt orange in there and like rosy pink and like blue and green. It's a little bit weird. Um, and so I've never really used it. So I'm probably gonna, I will get rid of this one. Here's another one that I will be getting rid of. This is the Black Heart Beauty from Hot Topic. Um, this is one of their glow in the dark polishes. It is labeled as simply hot pink glow in the dark. I did a hot I did a glow in the dark nail polish review thing several years ago and I picked up some of these hot topic polishes and they're actually really, really good for glow in the dark. However, I don't need four of them. So I already have a regular glow in the dark polish that I kept from the last miscellaneous D-stash. So I will be getting rid of this one because you really only need one glow in the dark polish. You don't need a million of them. So I will be getting rid of this. So this next one that we have is uh, another Broadway Nails. This one is called Bowling Ball. And I used this during my Sapphire, my September Sapphires, when I was wearing a different blue Sapphire polish for every day in September. I really, really like this one. Um, I have lots of these kind of shimmery Sapphire blues. This one is really, really up there with one of my favorites. Uh, the sort 
Sorcerer's Apprentice or the Sorcerer's Hat, I think, from Square Hue. This is a really nice um, substitute for Sorcerer's Hat, so I'm going to hold on to this one. This is gorgeous, really strong scent, but I really, really like it, so I'm holding on to that one. This one I will get rid of. This is an LA Colors Color Craze in the shade Pumpkin, Pumpkin, or Pumpin? Pumpin. Pumpin' Pink, whatever that means. Uh, just a regular pink cream, kind of a little bit on the neon side, but like I said before, I have so many pink creams, I will be getting rid of this one. I'll also be getting rid of this Broadway Nails pink cream. This is called Hong Kong Night. So it's a very uh, in-your-face kind of uh, neon pink that is really, really quite cute, and it, the camera is not really doing it justice very well. It's kind of going berserk a little bit, but it is a really nice hot pink. I don't need this. I have some orally hot pinks that I love and adore, so I will be getting rid of this one. Here's a Kiss Gel Strong that I will be getting rid of. It's a really beautiful kind of brown uh, shimmer, which is gorgeous. Unfortunately, it's named Sapphire Dust, which I don't get because sapphires are blue and this is like clearly brown. Um, I really don't wear this that often. I have other shimmery browns that I grab before I would grab this. Uh, I bought it because I thought that it was funny. It was obviously mislabeled. Um, I thought it was pretty silly. I do like the wide brush, but I just, I don't really wear this that often. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Also going to get rid of this Milani in the shade Lovely Amethyst. It's a very shimmery, kind of creamy purple. Not a huge fan, I, I, I don't really like this. It's very grayed and silvery. I'm not a huge fan. It just doesn't strike my fancy or get me excited at all, so I will be getting rid of that one. Here is a uh, Ciate that I will definitely hold on to. This is a beautiful silver holographic glitter balm called Celestial. I have used this many, many times for many different glitter manicures, whether it's full on glam glitter manicures to glitter gradients and um, glitter accent nails. Like I really do enjoy this one a whole lot. Very, very textured and a little bit on the heavy side as far as base goes. So it's a little bit, uh, a little bit sheer, but the sparkle factor on this is phenomenal. So I am going to keep this one because I can't help myself. It's just so pretty. Next, I've got some nine zero lacquer. This is from Jess Face 90 here on YouTube. I have several of her polishes. Um, I've got Cauldron Fire, which is this one. I have Twinkle Lights. I also have uh, The Witching Hour, which is right here. This is from her Halloween uh, collection. And I also have, here is Star on Top, which is a gorgeous gold glitter. And I think that might be all of them. So I am going to obviously hold on to all of these. These are amazing indie polishes from Jess Face 90. Love her formulas. Love these glitters. They are absolutely stunning. I will be holding on to all of these. Next, we've got this Butter London Gold metallic -y Foil Polish in the shade Marbs. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It is so densely gold. I adore this gold foil. It is so gorgeous. It is liquid gold. I love this one so much, but I think I might have a gold polish that's already really similar to it. I'm going to hold this into my maybe pile, compare it to some of my other gold foils and see how it goes. If it's um, similar to the gold foils I already have, I will get rid of it. Otherwise, I will keep it because this is a fantastic formula. Here's another julep. I might, I might hold on to this one, guys. This one is really pretty. This one is called Chris, and it is a really finely milled silver foily polish with hints of blue in here. This one's really pretty. <laughs> I've used this a couple of times for some winter manicures, and I really can't say no to it. It's so sparkly and gorgeous. Like, I really want to hold on to it. So I'm going to hold on to it, see if I use it. If I don't use it anytime soon, I'll probably get rid of it. But for now, I kind of am not ready to let it go. So we're going to hold on to that one. Here's another julep polish. This one is called Cheyenne, and it is a really beautiful, like, dark burgundy shimmer that is really, really gorgeous. And like I said, Julep has pretty decent formulas. This is labeled as a matte metallic, so it does have a nice matte finish to it. 
and it's really pretty. It is such a pretty polish. I kind of want to hold on to this one because it does dry matte. I'm a sucker for matte finishes. And with this being such a gorgeous like burgundy shimmer, I kind of want to hold on to it. So I'm going to hold on to it. Um, I don't really want to see it go. So we'll, we'll see. I will see. I, 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 I'm, uh, yeah, I think I want to keep this. I'm going to keep this one. Here's a Ciate that I will be de-stashing. This is not labeled because this thing is covering it up. I want to say, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> It does not want me to see the name of it. I think it's called, uh, what does it say? I, you, I can barely read what it says because the label was on there and it, I think it says something like Knickerbacker Glory. I, I can't, I can't read what it says, but it is a really beautiful raspberry pink, um, but I'm not going to keep it. Like I have raspberry pinks already from other brands that I would probably use first, especially with this being all the way down at the bottom of my nail polish like collection. I know I'm not gonna reach for this anytime soon, so I will be getting rid of this one. Here's another one of those Heaven lacquers that I bought in Vegas. This one has kind of separated a little bit, but you can tell what's going on here. This is called Surf's Up. This is, def this is kind of a, a rosy, gold uh, foil polish. It's definitely more like rosy pink than anything else. And I really like this. Jen, I think I might've purchased something very recently um, or there was something in a current collection that's really close to this. So I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile and see how this compares to other polishes I already have. If it's different, of course, I'll keep it. If it's similar, I will probably get rid of it. There's another one of these LA Color Lasts. This one is in the shade Family Ties. Yes, really gorgeous, like mid-toned Barbie pink in comparison to Forever. You can tell like Forever is like bubblegum. This is a Barbie. Beautiful, beautiful creams. But like I said, I've got so many creams. I don't need any more. So I will be getting rid of both of these. Here is a CoverGirl Outlast Stay Brilliant in the shade Grape Vine. And it is a beautiful shimmery grape purple color. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it with this one. So I, I, I'm sure the formula is great. Uh, I'm just, I don't know. No, nothing is really vibing with me on this. So I will be getting rid of this one. Here's another Bonita polish. This is in the shade Fantasy Flowers. And it is very similar to that purple shimmer that I actually just got rid of. They look identical. Look at that. I'm just not really loving or like feeling inspired by this color. Um, so I think I'm going to put this in the maybe pile and compare it to some of these purple Zoyas that I see across the way here. I kind of want to get rid of it, but I want to see how it compares to some of my other purples. So we'll put this in the maybe pile. Here is another one of these pure ice from the fairy tale forest editions. This is called white as snow. It is a glitter topper with, I believe some white matte glitters in here that are really finely milled. I haven't really used this. Um, I haven't really had a desire to, so I will probably get rid of this one. It just wasn't my cup of tea. Here is a gorgeous indie glitter topper from Candy Lacquer. I got this one from Hannah. This was gifted to me uh, during that birthday nail polish exchange that we did. It's gorgeous. It's just so beautiful. This polish reminds me so much of Hannah. Um, she would mention this all the time in her videos saying that this was like her favorite polish out there. It was her favorite glitter topper and it's gorgeous. I can totally see why. This one is called Unicorn Bubbles and it's just pastel upon pastel upon pastel. There are some hollow glitter in here too to make it super sparkly and rainbow. I love it. Of course I'm keeping it. It's amazing. Oh, this one's great. Here's a Sinful per uh, uh, Salon Perfect that I actually have quite a few of these. Salon Perfect just released a bunch of these like neons earlier this year um, that are very, very similar to China Glaze. So I'm actually going to hold on to most of these neons from Salon Perfect because they're actually really, really good. So I will be holding on to this one called Tickled Pink. And I will also be holding on to this orange one, which is called Flamingo Flare. They're really, really good neons. 
ones that I really enjoy. So I will be holding on to both of those. Okay, this one. Ugh. So these are some Michael Kors polishes. I think I talked about these in the last miscellaneous D stash that I did. Um, I found a bunch of these at Nordstrom Rack and I thought I had hit the mother load because I'm like, oh, they're Michael Kors. They're so classy. They've gotta be great. These polishes suck. They are the worst. I have never had such a terrible experience using polishes from like a really fancy brand before. I thought these were gonna be amazing because they're Michael Kors, but they're not. Like I have gotten some like sinful colors that are like $2 that are way better than these. Um, this particular polish looks a lot like um, Bikini Sotini, but a tad bit darker. And the formula just is not good. It's really, really runny. So I will be getting rid of this one because it's, I can't be bothered with this riffraff. Get it out of here. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say, this one is called called uh, Fantasy, but it's no good, it's gone. Here is a glam polish that I will be keeping. This is from their Californication, California Dreamin' Collection their California candy collection. I can't remember what the name of the collection was called, but it is called So Hot Will Melt Your Popsicle. Um, so I wanna say the whole collection was like California Girls because they're all named after lyrics from Katy Perry's California Girls song, I think. Um, I love this. I love this whole collection. This whole collection was phenomenal. And I think this polish is just has been misplaced because the rest of this collection is in that indie basket that I showed you before at the beginning of this D stash. So I obviously I'm gonna hold on to this, don't worry, um, and the rest of that collection as well. I just don't know why this is the only one that made it into the miscellaneous section, but eh, go fig. But I am keeping it, so don't worry. Here is a Broadway Nails that I'm going to get rid of. This is called Gorgeous J, and it is a shimmery purple. Um, if I were to compare this to the Bonita polish, I kind of like this one more. So I will, yeah, I'm just, I'm not feeling it. And plus with Broadway Nails having such a strong, like, scent. I don't think I'll hold on to this one and I probably have purples that are very similar to this anyway so this one is gone. Here's a Dermalect that has been neglected a lot as you can tell so let's just shake this up real quick. This one is called Lust Struck. It's a pink cream. I don't need this. I've got so many pink creams that are coming out of my ears so I will get rid of this one. Here's a Salon Perfect top coat that I will be getting rid of as well. This one is called Frosted. So it gives you a nice kind of frosted, pearlized kind of look. Not my cup of tea. I already have several of these frosted toppers, especially from some indie sellers that I really, really love. So I will be getting rid of this one. Here's a Butter London um, that is gorgeous. Like this is a deep navy shimmer that is just divine. This is called Big Smoke. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. The formula is fantastic because it is from Butter London. So I will be holding on to that. Here we've got a Nina Ultra Pro. I believe this is a brand found at Sally's. I don't know if they still sell it, but that's where I bought it uh, originally a couple years back. This one is called Caribbean Blue, and uh, I don't think I need to hold on to this one. I don't need to. I know I have a Zoya polish that is kind of similar to this in color. It has a little bit more of a sparkle to it, so I would probably use that one first. So I will get rid of this Nina Ultra Pro, which is a shame because they actually have really nice wide paddle brushes which I really, really adore and love, but I just, I don't use this color. I would use a Zoya polish before I'd use this one. Plus, if memory serves me correct, I wanna say this was a pretty sheer polish and you had to build it up quite a bit to get actual nail coverage, so I will be getting rid of this one. This one is called Playful Plum, a gorgeous deep burgundy plum shimmer that is so pretty. This one is such a pretty polish. However, I do think this is going to be very close to Stop and Mel the Roses from Wet n Wild Mega Last. And if it is close to that, I will get rid of this one because Stop and Mel the Roses is just divine. It is absolutely divine. But I do want to compare it, so we'll put this in the maybe pile. Here is a, a Broadway Gel Strong in the color Ballet Shoes. It's a really beautiful kind of neon corally pink. Very cute. Very, very cute. However, like I said before, I don't need any more of these corally pinks. And when comparing this to Sweet Cheeks, which is what we looked at earlier, and where's that other coral that I had? Oh, and this uh, Pure Ice Coral. They're all kind of 
vaguely the same. So I will be definitely, I'll get rid of this one. I don't really need it. Here's a Born Pretty Hollow Polish. I did a, um, a sponsored video with Born Pretty where I got to pick out a certain number of, uh, products from the Born Pretty website and did a review on them. This is a really cute uh, rosy pink hollow. It's color number four for any of those that are wondering what color this is. Um, it's cute. It's okay. It's a hollow polish. It's not the greatest thing in the world. Um, I definitely have some indie polishes that I would grab first before reaching for this. So I will get rid of this, not only because it's a really small amount of polish, but I mean, you saw the size of that brush. It is it is pitiful. Like I don't like minis, so I will get rid of this. All right, next we've got a Sonia Kashuk. I want to say I picked this one up from a Target dollar spot or a Target uh, clearance section. I don't even think they make, I don't know if Sonia Kashuk makes nail polish anymore, but they did at one point. This one is called Pinky Promise. It is a very cute mid-tone pink cream. I haven't used this in a while. I think it's because it's a jelly. Yep, like look at that. Ugh, I hate jellies. I'm not a fan. I don't want them. I don't like doing a million coats of polish, so I'm getting rid of that. Here is a really beautiful kiss polish that I might, I don't know. I don't think I'll ever wear this. And it is really similar to that LA Colors that I already got rid of. Um, I just, I don't think this is really my cup of tea. This is in the color electric. Um, I picked this up on a, on that road trip to Arizona and we stopped at a Kmart and I found this. Um, I'm going to get rid of it. Like I, I got rid of this one. They look exactly the same. The color just doesn't speak to me. I'm not really super excited about it. So I'm just going to get rid of both of them. Here's another one of these matte glitter toppers that I will get rid of. This is a confetti crush in the color 040. Um, it is mainly just matte uh, purple and blue glitters in a clear base, but it is extremely, extremely base heavy. And so the glitters are very, very sparse and I'm just not a fan. I've never used it. I've never wanted to use it. So I'll get rid of that one too. Here's another one of these um, wave polishes. This was a promo that I got from the company. They just sent me some polishes on a whim. I got this and like a mint green. They're kind of a, a neon cream, really, really great formulas, nice um, brushes as well. They're kind of on the wider side. I will hold on to this one. It's gorgeous neon coral that I really do love. I actually really like this one a lot. And when and uh, partnered with the mint neon that they gave me, it looks super, super cute. So I will hold on to that one. Here's a cupcake polish. Probably this is the first cupcake polish that I ever got. Um, I believe Hannah got me this one as well. This is called Foley Berger. It is gorgeous. It is a stunning in your face Barbie pink with tons of hollow glitter, tons and tons of sparkle. I love this polish. On many occasions, I have referred to this polish as me in a bottle because it's so pink and so sparkly. I adore this so much, even more so because it was a gift from Hannah. So I definitely, definitely will be holding on to this one. Here is a Milani color statement. It is a very dense glitter polish. This is called Gilded Rocks. I have used this on several occasions as an accent nail because it's this gold glitter with a slight pinky champagne look to it that I really, really love. It's got such a nice pink haze to it that gives it almost a rose gold feeling. I've used this several times as accent nails with pink manicures. Loving it, keeping it. It's amazing. Here's a little itty bitty Ciate that I will be getting rid of. It's just your standard uh, silver holographic glitter topper in the, sh it's called Confetti. Nothing to write home about. It's really nothing special. It's just your average holographic glitter topper. So with it being a mini, I'm not a huge fan. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Here's another little mini Ciate. This is called Putting on the Ritz. And it is a gold metallic flaky glitter topper. So that's like these shards of metal gold metallic glitter in a in a clear base. I wanna say this has probably dried out because I'm not able to pick up any polish in this thing. Like it's just not happening. I can even see like inside the bottle is just a cavern of polish. So I'm assuming the base must have dried out at some point. You could probably put some restorative in here and get this going again, but 
I, I don't want to. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Here is a polish from The Body Shop. This is a nice cobalt blue. Mad about blue. Um, I'm not gonna keep this. I have tried several uh, colors from The Body Shop and they just don't work very well with me. Um, it peels off. Like when the nail polish is on my hands, it just, it peels right off and it just doesn't work with my chemistry. So I will be getting rid of this one because it just doesn't work for me. Next, we have this Rimmel Lasting Pro, uh, this Lasting Finish Pro in the shade Midnight Blue. I used this one during my September Sapphires challenge as well. It is a very deep midnight blue with a little bit of a shimmer running through it. This is gorgeous, you guys. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous polish. It looks black on your nails, which is what I love. Sometimes I really dig these like deep, deep, deep dark colors. Like they look so deep, they're almost black. This one is gorgeous. It is such a good polish. Polish. Definitely, definitely holding on to that one. Rearranging some polishes here. Let's grab this Milani. This is a really beautiful kind of chocolatey, sh uh, shimmery brown polish called Brown Alicious. And I really like this one. This is a brown shimmer that I actually reach for quite a bit come the fall time. It's just a really gorgeous, gorgeous brown. I wear this one a lot more, so I will be holding on to that one. Here's a glitter topper that I'll probably get rid of. This is um, Essence Effect Nail Polish in the color Glitz and Glam. I just, I've never used it. Um, I never got around to using it. I could never think of anything. I was never inspired by it. So I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I just never got around to using it. Here is a Silver Bonita Polish. This is called Dream Wonderland. And it is silver. You can see that it's got a little bit of polish on here. So it's not it's a little bit dirty, but it's just your average silver foil. I'm going to, I'm going to hold on this one. I'm going to wait and see if I have anything else quite like it. Cause it is just your basic silver foil. Um, it's not as sparkly as that Clinique one. You can tell like this one's like super sparkly and super, super glitzy. This one's almost like muted. It's almost like a frosted metallic, which I kind of dig. So I'm going to compare this to other metallic silvers that I have and see how it goes. Um, so we'll hold that one off to the end. Here is um, Salon Perfect. This is Cosmic Dust. It looks exactly like uh, China Glaze's Fairy Dust. It is nigh identical. It is really finely milled holographic, scattered holographic glitter, and it gives any nail polish a fantastic appearance. I love this so much and I'm holding on to this one because it's basically my backup for fairy dust because it's exactly the same as fairy dust. So I'm going to hold on to that. Here's another pure ice. It's kind of hard to read because the label's like black. This one is called Respect. Respect. Respect with a K. Respect. And it is a black jelly with a bunch of multicolored glitter in here. I really like this. I haven't worn this, I think because I probably forgot about it. I'm looking at this right now and I am completely inspired. I kind of want to try this one out. It doesn't look like it has the best of formulas. Like it might be a little bit on the runny side and watery. So you might have to do a couple of coats to get this one looking nice, but... I'm kind of inspired by this. I wanna try some stuff out with it. So I will be holding on to this one because I have some plans with that. This is another pure ice that I will definitely be holding on to. It's your average glitter polish. This is called Studette. Uh, and the only reason I want to hold on to this one is because it's a finely milled gold glitter. I like to use this one around Thanksgiving because you can see it, it pairs really, really nicely with brown and some of those lovely fall colors. So I will be holding on to this. It's one of my favorite gold glitters. It's great. Here's another Broadway Nails that I will be getting rid of. This is called Mr. Right Now. It is a kind of really in your face intense neon blue. I have lots of neon blues. I see a China Glaze that looks like this one right now. I see some Orally that could be competitors for this. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna toss it. I don't really need it. I have many, many neon blues and it won't really be missed on account of it smells really, really bad. Here's a spa ritual that I will definitely be holding on to. This is called Oasis and it is a matte. So it's this beautiful sapphire blue shimmer. I used this during the uh, September sapphires challenge that I did in September. 
gorgeous, gorgeous polish. It has such a beautiful matte finish to it. And of course you can put a glossy topper on it and get it to look like what you see here in this bottle. I love this. This is gorgeous. I'm definitely holding on to that. Here's another one of these Clinique polishes. I got this one and this silver one in like a little duo pack and it's cute. Don't get me wrong. It's a gorgeous kind of magenta raspberry pink, but i I don't really use it that often. Um, with it being a mini bottle, it just kind of slips my mind. Looks like it might have gone bad, actually. It's looking a little chunky. I think I might get rid of this one and just actually like throw it away because it's got like chunks in it. You see how chunky that is? I'm just gonna throw this away. We're not even gonna de-stash it. It is in the trash. Okay, next we have another one of these Gel Strong from Broadway Nails. This is a neon in the shade Picnic Day. And um, these neons from the Gel Strong line aren't fantastic. I mean, they're okay considering how much you pay for them, which is around like one to two dollars, but you need a uh, white base coat with them, which for me is just too much of a step. It's just too much work. I don't need that in my life, so I'm going to be getting rid of that. Here we have a gorgeous gray taupe color. This is one of the CoverGirl Outlast uh, Stay Brilliant polishes in the shade, what is this? Um, non-stop stone. And it is really gorgeous. It is a beautiful kind of pumice stone gray that is really, really pretty. Um, I kind of want to hold on to this, but I want to compare it. If it's similar, I'll de-stash it. If it's different, then I'll, I'll keep it, of course. But I want to compare this to other colors before I make any final decisions. This is a polish from Savina. I don't remember where I got this one from. This one is called Sparkling Water. It has a very similar bottle structure to uh, China Glaze and also these like Heaven Lacquer bottles. They look the same. So I'm wondering wondering if these are just rebranded or something. I have no idea, but this is such a beautiful polish. It is, it reminds me almost of like indie polishes, the way it looks, because we've got such a gorgeous teal base and then there's tons of scattered hollow in there. It just, it reminds me of indies and I love this. I think this is such a beautiful polish. It is a little bit tricky. You have to build it up a lot to get the color that you see in the bottle. But for me, I say it's worth it because it's just so gorgeous. I'm going to hold on to this one too. This is just too good to pass up. Next up, we've got another one of these LA Color Craze polishes in the shade Baby Blue. It is a slightly neon blue with a little bit of a glass shimmer running through it. I mean, I don't feel very uh, passionate about it, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. I've never worn it. Um, I don't think I ever will want to wear it, so I'll just get rid of it. Here's another one of these Bonita polishes that is just so pretty. This is a really gorgeous shimmery sapphire that I love. I think I wore this one also during that September sapphire challenge. This one is called Royal Wishes. It is so beautiful. It is so incredibly beautiful. It's more like sparkly than some of these other sapphires that I've kept. Um, some of the other sapphire shimmers are just really shimmery, like, and smoother. Like, can you see the difference? Like, this one looks really smooth and refined, whereas this one's just a little bit coarser of a shimmer, and I love it. I love both of them in their own special way, so I will be keeping both of them. Here are some glitters from Milani that I will be getting rid of. Um, first, we've got this one here called Lavender, and the next one is called Blue Flash and they're basically the same thing. It's just purple metallic glitters and blue metallic glitters all in a clear base, although over time that base has kind of been dyed a little bit. I never use these. I thought I would. I thought I would use them as accent nails for different manicures, but I never actually did. I never got around to it. I never was inspired to use them, so I'm just gonna get rid of them. This is a real fun polish, you guys. This is an interesting one. This is Color Craze in the shade uh, Glam, and this is is very, very close to Pineapples Have Peelings. Pineapples Have Peelings by OPI is probably one of my favorite ugly colors. I enjoy it so much because it's this gold foil polish with tons of metallic multicolored glitters in there. And it's just so weird. It's just so weird and it's so 
ugly but pretty at the same time. And this is a really nice, it's not an exact dupe for Pineapples Have Peelings too, but it's really, really close. It's really, really close to it. Close enough that, you know, you're getting basically the same vibe from it. Um, I don't need this. I have Pineapples Have Peelings too. It's one of my favorites, so I will get rid of it. Here's a Spa Ritual Sapphire Blue that I'll probably get rid of. This is called Navigate. I don't think I wore this during the Sapphire, uh, September Sapphires Challenge, and if I did, uh, I'm not a, I, I, it didn't leave a lasting impression on me. I think it's because it's not very deep of a sapphire blue. I dig this kind of sapphire blue where it's super, super in your face, super, super saturated. This is almost slightly muted and almost like got some white mixed in there that I'm just, I'm just not a fan. I like this kind of sapphire versus this like light navy blue. So I will be getting rid of this one. Here is a gold glittery polish from Julep. This is in the shade Margot. Yeah, uh, I got some gold shimmers. Um, I've, 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 I mean, I've just have this uh, Butter London one. I mean, this one is slightly more silver, but I, I don't think I want this. But uh, I'll compare this to some other gold foils and metallics that I have, and we'll see how it fares with the other golds in my collection. Here is a Butter London that I will probably get rid of. This is a uh, torch, and it is orange. It is an orange polish with a gold shimmer running through it. You could argue that it. Might might be coral, but for me it's more orange than coral. Um, the gold shimmer is nice in there, but it's just, it's not enough for me, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And we have just a couple left. We've got these ones right here and this one. This is another one of the Fairy Tale Forest editions from Pure Ice. This one is called Stella Grace, and it's a, it's a topper. And uh, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not into it. It is an iridescent topper that really gives your nail polish a very frosted look, which I'm not a fan of frosted polishes. It's got some finely milled white matte glitters in there and some star glitters too that you really have to fish to get. You're not gonna get them anytime soon. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put this one over here in the D-stash pile. Here's another one of these like opalescent uh, iridescent toppers. This is from the Essence Effect nail polish line more specifically their sparkling sugar line. And this is called Baby You're a Firework. And it's super cute. It's very light and very pink and very cute. I just, I don't, I don't wear it. I'm not really inspired by it. I've never used it ever since I bought it on clearance at Ulta. And um, yeah, it's just, it's not working it for me. So I'm gonna get rid of it. Here is a really fun polish. This is called, uh, this is from Nails Inc. It's a beaded polish called embankment and it is such a highly textured polish. I adore this. To me, this is a lot like Essie's Bulgaria from like their encrusted gems or jewels collection. Oh no, but I think this one's gone bad. Oh, sad. Look, it's like all crusty and gross. I could easily put some restorative in here and get this one cracking again. Like it's pretty chunky. It's, I don't know if this one's coming back. Um, I also could just go to the store and buy myself a new Bulgaria because this one was basically a dupe for Bulgaria. And I think I'm just gonna do that instead because I would have, it looks like it's like dead empty. Like nothing is coming out of here. I would have to pour in a bunch of restorative to get this going. So I think I'm just gonna throw this away and I'll just go buy myself a, a new Bulgaria from Essie because they're basically the same thing. Okay, and here we have our final four. We've got Spa Ritual. This is a cream pink called Magnify. We then have a purple shimmer from Bonita Polish called... Uh, purple craze. We have a Broadway gel strong pink uh, neon called grape jello. That does not look like grape. That is definitely pink. And then we have a body shop cream in the color gorgeous gray. I will be getting rid of all of these. This one, it just didn't quite work out for me. As far as these pink creams go, I've got so many pink creams. I don't need another one. And this uh, Broadway nails gel strong is just not the greatest as far as neon polish you need a white base coat so it's just it's not worth my time and this body shop while
while this is a beautiful gray, it, this Body Shop formula doesn't work well with my nails. It just, it flakes off in pieces and it comes off in like full sheets. So I'm just gonna get rid of it because it's just a waste of time for me to try to use it. And there you go, those are all of the polishes. These ones here are the ones that I have questions about. Um, I need to decide if I have polishes that look like these in my collection already, or if I want to hold on to them for sentimental reasons or whatnot. So let me go do some perusing in my nail polish collection to see if I have polishes that look like this, and we will come back and make some really tough decisions. So I've pulled out some polishes from my collection to compare to some of my maybe I can't quite decide yet, polishes from this D-Stash. So this first set that we have here is the polish in question. This is Bonita's uh, Fantasy Flowers compared to two China Glaze polishes. Here we've got uh, Don't Desert Me, and this one is Purple Fiction. These two seem very, very similar to me. Um, this one obviously has a little bit more pink in there. They look really, really close, close enough for me. I would probably use this China Glaze one over this Bonita polish anyway, so I'm just gonna get rid of the Bonita polish. Next up, we've got some of these, this navy. So the polish in question is this julep. Here it is compared to Essie's uh, After School Boy Blazer and Orly's um, midnight show. Now, these two navies are a nice cross section of my navy blues. I have another OPI, like Salsa, in, Incognito and Salsalito, which is kind of closer to this navy blue. And then here's like the lighter navy blues that I have. And this is even lighter than, than this navy blue. So I think I'm actually gonna hold on to this julep one. Formula is really, really good too. So I will be holding on to that julep. Next, we've got a, the color girl gray that is in question. Here it is compared to um, China Glaze's Street Style Princess from their current fall collection, and also Essie's uh, Now and Zen. So we've got some really light grays here, and this one's a tad bit darker, and it's got a little bit more taupe. So I'm gonna hold on to this. I love this kind of taupey, brownish, gray, beige color. Um, these, now that I have these close together, like these look really similar, but whatever. Next we got these uh, shimmery, purpley raspberry colors. This is the polish in question. This is Salon Perfect's um, Playful Plum compared to Stop and Mel the Roses from Wet n Wild Megalast. This is Better Not Pout from China Glaze. And this last one is uh, Royal Pain and the Ascot from the Fall China Glaze collection. Now I feel like these two, the Stop and Mel the Roses and Pain and the Ascot, Got. These are definitely very, very close in color. And the polish in question is more closely related to Better Not Pout. However, it's a lot darker and I like it. I kind of like the deepness and the richness of this color, this Salon Perfect, super vampy. I feel like this will be great for Halloween. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to that one. Next, we've got this uh, Broadway Nails this really bright purple Broadway nails. Here it is compared to Orly's Scenic Route, which is one of my all-time favorite neon purples for the summer. And here it is also compared to Wet n Wild Mega Last's Reject the Mainstream, and it's kind of a nice in-between. So I'm gonna hold on to it. I really love it. I don't couldn't find anything quite like it in my collection as of yet, so this one is going to stay. Next, we have that questionable silver from Bonita Polish called Dream Wonderland. Here it is compared to the silver foil that I use the most. This is Celeb City from Sally Hansen, and you can tell that the Celeb City is slightly more sparkly, like it's more coarse. The coarseness of it makes it more sparkly, whereas when, as, uh, Dream Wonderland is almost kind of like smoother and softer, so I kind of like the difference between both of these. They're both silver foils and silver metallics, but they're different, like they have a different feel to both of them. So I will be keeping Dream Wonderland because it's it's nice, it's a good formula too. Okay, now we've got these golds. Uh, we've got Julep and we've got Butter London. So these are the two golds in question and these are the two silver golds that I use the most. This is Golden Eye and coin flip from Sally Hansen. And you can tell one is gold, one's more copper, and they kind of go along with these two polishes in question. Butter London is a little bit more yellow of a gold. As far as these uh, copper metallics go, the julep one called Margot is definitely 
a little bit more champagne -y gold, and coin flip is definitely more of a coppery bronze. I kind of feel like these are different enough that I might want to consider holding on to both of these. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to hold on to them just a little while longer. I don't know if I'm going to use them. If I don't use them anytime soon, I will get rid of them, but I kind of feel like I might need to hold on to them for nail art reasons. So I guess for that reason enough, I will, I will hold on to them, but I don't know. I still don't know yet. I'm just going to throw them in there. I don't want to get rid of them. I know that for sure. So I think I'm going to hold on to them just a little while longer and maybe with the next D stash, I will eventually get rid of these. And the last polish in question is this Heaven polish. Um, this is called Surf's Up. Here it is compared to Meet Me in the Mirage from China Glaze. And this one is Supernova from Sinful Colors. They're very, very similar. I feel like this is maybe maybe slightly more pink and this one's a little bit more coppery. They're close enough for me, honestly. So I feel like I'm just gonna keep the China Glaze. I will de-stash this one. And then the last two maybe polishes are the, um, is the uh, Sinful Shine in, what is this? My Only Sunshine, this kind of really bright, corally, cream and then the other one is the color craze la colors in cupid's arrow i'm gonna keep cupid's arrow i kind of i have some ideas for valentine's day with this and i really want to try it out so i'm gonna hold on to that but i will get rid of this uh corally pink i don't need it i have so many coral pinks it's not gonna kill me I'll de-stash this one. And there you have it. So these are all the polishes that I will be keeping. Um, I wanna say it's probably about half of what I had when I started. So I'm going to file these babies back into my nail polish collection and I'll show you how it looks like and we will wrap up this video for today. And there you have it guys, they're all set, we're done. Can you believe it? We are finally done with this de-stash. So I have finished off my miscellaneous polish is down there at the bottom, leaving me with quite a bit of space for the rest of my nail polish that I have down here. I mean, it's all sitting right there, ready to go in to the nail polish bookcase. So the next phase in my nail polish reorganization is to basically empty out this entire bookcase and reorganize all of my polishes. I've got lots of Caloris de Carol to add to my Caloris de Carol spot. I've got some China Glaze to add into the China Glaze section. I've got OPI to add to the OPI section. So there's lots of reorganization that needs to happen with this set. So I'm not done yet. I mean, am I, am I ever done? Probably not. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see that process because that process will mainly entail of me taking all the nail polish off of the wall, reorganizing everything alphabetically by brand and then by color. If that's something you wanna see, let me know because I can of course vlog that process for you. But as of right now, I'm just going to give myself a big old pat on the back for finally finishing this D-Stash series. I know it took me a long time. Sorry it took me so long to get it done, but at least it's done and I'm ready for phase two which is reorganizing and reshelving. As I've said so many times in my de-stashes, I am planning on selling most of the polishes I have de-stashed, but I have not set up anything yet for sales, so I will let you all know when I will be selling my de-stashed polishes, but it will be happening. I can't tell you when, I can't say how many months or how many weeks, but it will be happening, and don't worry, I will let you all no, but that is my video for today you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this final D stash I'm gonna go and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye